Beautiful look down on this pristine pitch. It's seen a share of football. This might be one of the best matches you will see this weekend. The LAFC Slammers taking on FC Barcelona. These are two of the most impressive teams in the group stage of this inaugural ICC Futures Girls Tournament. Phil Shane alongside Tony Miola. Many of the fans have stuck around, some coming specifically for this and the match to follow. But for the LAFC Slammers getting revenge on one of their arch time rivals to get here. Meanwhile, for Barcelona, the lone European team still alive with a chance at the championship. And there are a few who have braved the trek, of course, getting the chance to watch the Barcelona boys who just fell in the last match on penalties to Benfica. There does need to be a winner. It will be decided today who will move on to the finals. Take a look as the way these two teams have progressed and it has been impressive for LAFC. LAFC Slammers playing catch up with their arch rivals PDA Blue and it took all the way to that final match before they were able to erase some ghosts. IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. The temperature dipping down into the low 60s and for some of these teams that have made the trek, that's not that much of a drop, but it is a little different than it has been in recent days. Take a look at LAFC taking on Barcelona. ICC West, one of the all-star teams put together. They'll be taking on PDA out of New Jersey, who had gone two years without defeat until the final group stage game on Thursday night. And Tony, when you take a look at these two teams, as good as LAFC is, they know the reputation of Barcelona. And any time you take on a team that carries the name Barcelona, it's going to be a little extra special. And I think you also take on the style of Barcelona because as you watch them warm up, as you watch them throughout this tournament, they want to play exactly like the Barcelona men's side. And that's exactly what they try and do. They put the ball on the deck and they play. You mentioned LAFC. It's a team recently formed. It, it, you know, their, their rivals, as you mentioned, PDA, have been around an awful long time. And as you see here, they were able to get here by defeating PDA 2-0. Well, it was penalties to knock off ICC South, then a victory against Man City and PDA 2-0 with two early goals. There, a look at Noah Bessis. She is in the pivot, that piston roll in the midfield that gets the engine moving for Barcelona. And for Barcelona, finishing on top of the group, just ahead of ICC Midwest on the tie break. Losing to PSG first time out, but then beating ICC Midwest and then Heat FC out of Nevada to clinch their spot. Take a look at the starting lineups here today. Olivia Herrera is going to be in goal, but keep an eye on the number 15. Everything goes through Mary. Yeah, when we asked the coaching staff, what is it about Maribel Flores? All of them said the same time, she's special. Meanwhile, for Barcelona, Mar Perez getting the start in goal. Two good goalkeepers here. Andre Cano will be up front. They're going to sit Magali Captavila. That's a little bit of a surprise. Hassan Belamanahia, the man with the whistle in hand. And we are just about ready to get this one underway. The ICC Futures Women's Semifinals. And it is rolling. It is that second yellow kit for Barcelona defending the goal towards the right and the all white with the black numbers of LAFC slammers attacking from left to right and here is Flores weaving her way through the midfield lifting it towards goal and on a hop into Mar Perez's chest 4-3-3 from the slammers 2019 ECNL champions going 14-0 through that season Barcelona Meanwhile, one of the powerhouses of European women's football. Team that Philly saw Flores early cutting to the middle with the clear intention of the type of player that she is. Marquette passing it off, and there is Bessis. I think you said to me prior to this game, watch Bessis. She is the Iniesta of this team. She plays in that role and has been interpreted the same way. She's the engine in the midfield. 
Emily Miner looking long, but it carries across into touch. Good look at Shane Gordon, who's done a good job with this LAFC Slammer squad. They were a development academy, but they've elected to go ECNL, focusing a lot on college development, which on the women's side is still a battle. ECNL and the Development Academy still dueling, and that was one of the things that went into that showdown with PDA just a few nights ago. Maria Calderon pushing it wide into the middle. It's Bessis. Getting the start here today, Aisha Kamara. And she has played on the flank, but today electing to put her in the middle, Oscar Belis. Plucked away, and Maria McMahon now launching it long upfield for Soleil Dimri. Dimri tends to play that center forward role with an eye towards setting up her teammates. Yeah, but she'll stretch that back four, occupy the two center backs. A nice run here. She's also very good with the ball at her feet. Perez. Near side, Pujols. Back to Perez. Looking up the middle and electing to go wide for Pujols again. Slotting in for Kamada. This is nicely done here by Barcelona early. Cano through the midfield, calm and composed. And again, they'll switch it side to side. We saw it with the boys earlier today. We've seen it with Barcelona's senior side for years. They don't like to whack the ball upfield. Even in tight conditions, they'll try and work it up. That's an interpretation of how you want to play, how you think the beautiful game is played. We'll see that, that also from LAFC. They also will go direct when need be. They'll mix it up a bit. Kubel. Near side, Pujols. Hooked away. And it's knocked to the near side before Martret can turn up field. There is Oscar Bellis. And again, many of those Barcelona players on their senior side coming up through this system. Far side from Calderon. Kamada giving chase. It looks like midfield pickup for LAFC. There are two 25-minute halves. They are used to playing the 90, but some of these teams coming from off-season, trying to get the intensity as well, and the coaches seem to appreciate it. No added time, no extra time, straight to penalties if this one is drawn. The last two boys' quarterfinals going to penalties to set up tomorrow's semis. We will see the semifinals on the boys' side as well as the final and the girls' final as this ICC Futures tournament comes to a close. A little touch, but they're going to say it is crossed and a throw in for the slammers. It's good patience there by Barcelona, but they weren't able to get into that final third of the field because of the movement of the LAFC Slammers defense. Oh, Kamada bit. Now Dimri to the goal line. Cuts it back. Looking for an opening. Squares in the six. And intercepted at the top of the line. That one was dangerous, but Calderon back in time. Stolen away again. Dimri trying to get the shot away. Back off Calderon. And it's cleared away for the throw. And nicely done by Dimri as she gets down the right side here. Foot race with Kamara. He wins this one, gets it across after cutting it back. Looking at that back post for Flores. Can't find her. You see how quickly LAFC can get at you. Tackle from McMillan, but it's going to cross. I think that might be one of the reasons that they have put Kamada out there. They see the speed that this LAFC slammer squad has. They need someone that can at least slow it down. And a tangle at that near post is everyone fighting for position. Filamanahia trying to make sure things don't boil over. Maria Calderon trying to mark as Angelina Moschetti will launch this one in, bending towards Perez's net. Moschetti, high, far, back post, header up and over. That one was close. A good ball played into the danger area here by Moschetti. You see some runs at the back post. You see a lot of space in that six-yard box. Malia McMahon 
Wishes she had that one back. Yeah, she rose up at that back post. Couldn't steer it back across goal. Now stepping up to poke it free, but right back to Lorena Kubo. Calderon keeps it moving. Aina Roman out on that far right flank. And for Bessis, who gets slammed to the turf, advantage played. And now there will be a foul as Mari Flores with the trip. Well, very bright through the midfield for Barcelona here. They're patient on the ball, as you mentioned. They'll go sideline to sideline with it. Here you see another switch. Well taken down. It's that final third. Can they penetrate? LAFC slammers here. They squeeze the middle of the field. And Slammers has been around for a while, but brought in to the LAFC family on the girls' side. And it has seemed to be a relationship that both sides have liked. Ball to flex edge of the area, charging over Peta. She's going to get there in time. There is a team that does have roots. Kristen Press coming through the Slammer system. U.S. national team star. See how active Mirabel Flores is on that left side, both with and without the ball. Not a player that plays one way. You can see there, she'll jump lanes, try and break plays up. Poking it to the near side, looking for Cindy Connor. Barcelona in the center circle. Bessie's calls, finds the open player, Kamada. Swinging over again for Roman, but her pass a little bit behind, chance for McMillan, but she can't hold on. Trying to lunge inside Pujols. Ball rolls wide. It'll be a throw in for Slammers. Little slip, but Bessie's there to. Snuff out the blunder, back to Perez in goal. There's a little higher pressure here from LAFC. Pressure from Dimity, forcing the clearance, doesn't get past Flores, but her shot goes wide, deflected. And again, that press causing Barca problems. Yeah, and the one thing you don't want to do is turn over the ball to Flores here. The poor clearance out ends up with Flores and may have been going wide anyway, but LAFC earns a corner kick here off the turnover. What has 17 goals in 14 games last ECNL season. He's going to head to the corner, but again, the referee trying to make sure things don't boil over at that near post. Cindy Connor lurking at the back if the ball finds that back post. Meanwhile, Reese Doherty camped out on the pole. Swift in front, just over the crossbar, maybe looking for the Olympico. Well, that was a little bit closer than I thought. Initially, everyone seemed to just look at it, not make a move for it, ends up not missing by much. Back in for Perez, but it crossed the goal line. A little sloppy from Barca and a gift of a corner. Yeah, we'll see how this changes things, Phil. Now that the last two times they tried to build out, a little bit of pressure from LAFC results in two corner kicks. Will maybe Barcelona try and skip a line, try and relieve the pressure a little bit next time? 
Well, that wouldn't be the Barca way. But you don't have to play it long, but you can skip that first line and get it into the midfield a pass or two earlier instead of c continuing to play around the back four. Muscati, another in-swinger. Perez with a wall of players in front of her trying to peek through. Muscati bangs it out far post, carries through, trying to chase it down McMahon. Uses the back heel, but she can't keep it in play. And McMahon is that clear target at the back post. She's lined up, made her runs to the back post, as well as Flores. Doherty closing down. Roman dispossessed. Back in towards the 18. Dimity trying to poke it free. Back heel Flores launched across, looking for Connor, but heading it away. Judith Pujols. Barca trying to get on the break, but this is the first time I think we've seen Barcelona rattled. Oh, good little ball played in there. And threading it down the middle, looking for Martret, but she's dispossessed by McMahon. So calm by McMahon to break that play up. That is well out of her area. Now she's going to have to scramble back. Flores sneaks it through, but a strong step up by Calderon. Doherty, far flank to the goal line and across deflecting away keeping it alive Connor and it's a battle on the near side Kamada trying to run away with it and starts a nice break herself LAFC throwing everything into the attack and they'll win it back on this near side well, nicely done by Kamara she continued her run here after breaking up the play made herself available and now retreat into that back four but it's tough work for a center back. Off Dimery. And they're going to say off the defender as well. Throw in. Stepping up to take it to Stephanie. Connor scored a wonder goal against PDA in the final group stage game. If they had not won that, they would not be here. They needed to win outright. Calderon far side. Roman looking north. Slips away from Maya Ann Henley. Trying to track it down Moschetti, and she does. Oh, what a good battle on the far side of the field here. Maya Ann Henley with the dummy letting it go through her legs. You see it here. Whoop. And now we're off to the races here. Fun battle to watch with Muschietti. Here's Kamada. Starting to look a little more confident. She's come off the bench in recent games, but gets the start here in the middle today. Pujols, Martret. They've not really been able to get it to Segura in the middle. Stripped away, Dimity. Tries to cut wide, Martret using her speed to come back, and she sees a trickle across in another corner coming for the LAFC Slammers. I mentioned there, Martret, she turns the ball over. Had the wherewithal to immediately transition into defending. Was able to break it up. We look at Soleil Dimri. She's been active down this right-hand side of the field. Sister part of Washington State's Final Four team. In swinger again, Mark Perez again trying to look over that tower of players in front of her. Again, sending it in towards the back post. McMahon misses loose, and Barca will clear it out far side. It's a foot race. Getting there first is De Stephanie. However, deflection, and now one defender back. Good chance on the break. Rare touch through the middle for Segura. But give credit to the Slammers for coming back. Bessie's trying to slip it through, but it carries all the way. Looks like she was trying to chip that over that back four and miss hit it. Did she miss it a bit too hard? But as that breakout happened, Canoe was down this left-hand side of the field, but wasn't recognized. It's been a fun game to watch so far. Energy on both sides of the ball. Good tackles in the midfield as we're seeing here. 
Nine minutes left to go in this opening half. And again, it's speed soccer in some ways. Well, you said in the open, and you said to me prior to this game, this might be the best game you watch today. So far, it's been pretty good. Well, that game coming up with PDA against ICC West also could be up there, but semifinals, you'd expect to see the better teams and a ticket to tomorrow's final on the line. Will Barcelona be totally shut out? A couple of changes getting set for the slammers. They'll have to wait till after the corner. Again, looking to swing this one in towards Perez's net. High to the edge of the six, looking again for McMahon, knotted down, cleared off the line, trying to sweep it home. And then finally slammed away, but still in danger. Flores cuts to her left, trying to sweep it across, and a sliding Kano knocking it out for the corner. This is really well done by Kano here. Good composure, waited for Flores to wind up. It looked like she had the ball pushed around her. Timing was right for the slide tackle. Emery hanging out near the top of the box. Henley keeping an eye on her. Ball hangs. Perez out. Got a touch. Touch back into the middle. Dummied through. Loose for Dimry. Shot deflected. Trickling towards the back post and bouncing wide. And off a defender an in another lot, corner. An awful lot going on there, Phil. Barcelona having troubles clearing this one. We've seen balls played into that second post. Goalkeeper does a very good job, Perez, of dealing with the first one. Then it's difficult from here. It eventually bounces out for yet another corner kick for LAFC. Mar Perez is going to get a crick in her neck. She's had to swivel looking left and right on all of these corners. And again, back post. They know the danger Malia McMahon is. And they're trying to slow her down before she gets into the scoring zone. And again, every kick bent in towards Perez. This one right at the edge of the six. Follow-up shot deflected up and over. Dimry from close range, and it's going to be a goal kick for Barcelona. They've withheld. Looked like Dimry had that last opportunity. Couldn't steer it on frame. A lot of players in front of her as it bounces around once again. It's clear. They're making runs at that back post to clear space. You see Dimry, a pretty good look at it. Sydney Fetters checking in, Emma James, along with Regan Shields and Liddy Biddulph. Biddulph, youngest player, one of the youngest players on this team. It looks like Marimbo Flores has come over to the right-hand side of the field now. Trying to settle Flores, drawing Kamada out. Ball gets stuck, though, as she tries to pass it, and Bessie's trying to take off. Pressured, she gets rid of it. Cano it slips away, and Pujols will be forced to retreat. Kamada not that comfortable, but she does well, sweeping it across for Calderon. The center back pushing forward, splits the lines too well as it carries all the way to Olivia Herrera. There is Regan Shields trying to shore up the defense on this right side. Sails over Ramirez. It'll providing a little more physicality to that front line. Flores waiting for it. Kamada gets the touch. Kamara has been so good throughout this entire first half for Barcelona. Pujols, Kamada, into the middle, pistoning back is Pujol. Interesting here, LAFC dropped off to midfield during build-up, and any deep, any deep free kicks for Barcelona, any goal kicks, goalkeeper has the ball in her hands, they're pressing very high. 
Pushing it through in the attack, Ramirez. Look how far Perez comes off of her line. But now she has to retreat. Swept wide by Doherty. Launched into the 18, bounces up, and reaching back is Perez. She had Flores charging in, and that one almost went over. Oh, he had an angle here that thought that this was going over Perez's head. You can see on the replay, she's retreating here. Then she stops. Feet stop moving. Then it makes it a bit more difficult to get back, but she deals with it nicely. Puts one hand up, pull it in. Jesse Stacano dropping it back over to Kamada. Barcelona holding up against relentless pressure from the slammers. A little giveaway here, though, from Martret, but she comes back to put out her own fire. That could be dangerous. Charging in Henley, but pushed wide by McMahon. You know, as good as Kamara has been for Barcelona, McMahon has been equal to the task for LAFC. There's that through ball played in by Dimery. McMahon deals with this one nicely. Maybe a throw in about box high for Barcelona. Henley finally getting a chance. Nope. Wasted effort. Messi disagrees, but it'll be goal kick for the Slammers. 23rd minute ticking to a close. Just a couple of minutes to go from the end of this first half. The last two games, I guess there might have been some tactical decisions which got us to penalties. This one, both teams have tried to attack. Slammers may be a bit more success, but we're still level on the scoreboard. I've been pretty impressed with Barcelona. At a minimum, minimum, they've been composed on the ball. They don't look rushed when they play. They've lost a few in the midfield, but you can see they're confident to have the ball in tight spaces. Only have see clearly with the better opportunities. A happy group of fans right now. A lot of energy here in Bradenton. IMG Academy. Beautiful setup for this tournament. Ball back for Perez. Sweeps it across, finding Kamada. Biddle trying to close down and does force the errant pass. Up steps Fetters. Here's Flores. Blocked by Kamada. Follow-up shot. Doherty flying in. Biddle. Barcelona wanted a foul. None coming. Now Regan Shields in the corner wins it. Sweeps it forward. Chance for Biddle in the box. Kamada putting her body in front. They're going to say no foul off of the defender and another corner for the Slammers. And they're asking for a foul here on the sideline once again. Fit off. Rode the back of Kamara as this ball gets played in here. And this is what they're wanting a foul on. Might have an argument. Yeah, but the push caused the corner kick. And again, you see four bodies at that back post for LAFC. Kind of interesting also, maybe just because of the small stature of the goalkeeper. You see three players at the near post. Ball in. Looked like it might be curving. Calded on to the back line to head it clear. 1v1 trying to cut her way through Segura. But back in good position, Emily Miner. So well done defensively, as you mentioned. It was Calded on. That will do it for the opening half. No score as we have reached the midway point. Yeah, it's been a pretty good performance by Barcelona in the midfield. They haven't had very much in the attacking part of things. If you're LAFC, the press has worked pretty well. Maybe stick to that a little bit. Continue to get your star, Maribel Flores, involved in the game a little bit more. No score at the break. Goals have been coming in the second, but in the last two matches, we've had to go to the tie break to see who would advance the 
girls final of this ICC Futures Tournament tomorrow and we're still awaiting our first finalist. Barcelona listening to their boss trying to figure out how to get the second half to go their way. LAFC slammers on the other side in some ways letting Barca off the hook will it come back to bite them. Take a look at the highlights from this first half. Early on here we see Dimery getting around the corner beating Kamara. It's about the only time Kamara had been beaten in that first half. She cuts it back once again and looking across the goal there was Flores at that back post. But this battle has been going on the entire first half. It's been fun to watch. It's been restarts, restarts, restarts for LAFC. This one to the back post. That's been the target. McMahon at that back post can't steer it on frame. And we see yet again another one that Barcelona doesn't do a very good job of clearing. There's two or three attempts at it. It ends up once again with Dimery. And you see emergency defending for Barcelona in the box. A lot of numbers back, but no real clearance in the end. And here's a long ball played in the box looking for Flores, who had come over to the right side almost. And you see here once again, bounces over the head of Mark Perez, but she does a good job of backtracking. It's the kind of game it's been. It's been choppy for their the majority of that first half, LAFC may be the better of the two sides, Phil. Barcelona, there's still a lot left if they can get through that possession in the midfield to that final third. They may be onto something. Meanwhile, Barcelona, as that half progressed, did start to create a few chances of their own, but we'll see what happens. And right now, it looks like there could be a keeper switch for the Slammers. We'll 
take a look at that in a moment, but scoreless at the half, 25 minutes more to go, and maybe just a little bit more to see who will be the first finalist in this very first ICC Futures Tournament for girls soccer. Scoreless between Barcelona and the Slammers at the break. And there a look as both teams have elected to make a switch in goal. Medeshiel Fuster, who was one of the stars against Heat FC in the final group game. Meanwhile, on the other side, another keeper in is Olivia Herrera. Looks like her day is done. But up front, the ever dangerous Magali Captavila for Barcelona. Raquel Captavila, who just made the jump from Espanol. No relation also in as both teams making some changes. Looking for fresh legs. There is Brooklyn Acevedo out of Whittier, California, wearing the double zero as this second half about ready to get underway. No score at the end of the first 25 minutes. There must be a winner in the semifinal to move on to tomorrow's final. And we are underway. Barcelona swinging around from the left to the right now, and it will be LAFC slammers in white defending the goal towards the right. Just as they did at the opening whistle, Barcelona trying to speed their way through that slammers defense. Oscar Belis able to keep LAFC at bay and there a look at Captavila who is a powerhouse on that front line and now fresh legs against what would be a 
bit of a tired back line for the Slammers. And feeling a bit of a change here. Maribel Flores, for LAFC now in the middle of the field, playing in what looks like a number 10 role right now. Challenging, but Calderon able to head it away. So maybe in an effort to get her on the ball a bit more. She started out wide left. She moved over to the right-hand side. At the end of that first half, now she's playing in the middle of the field. See if she gets on the ball a bit more. Ball swings through. Nina Poe, also fresh legs in this midfield. Roman still out there. Poe with the touch. Roman flying forward. Flores stuck a boot in. Bit of a trip, but back now for Bessis. Settles, drives, looking, dishes. Captavila back. Bessie steps up to pick up the loose ball. Nina Poe in for Raquel Captavila. Actually, Magali Captavila chipped up and wide of the net. Acevedo saw it all the way. There's a good look. Yeah. Good opportunity here for Barcelona as you see. Floor is there. Right in the middle of the field looking around for some space. What this will do though for Barcelona is allow her to match up with Bases, the captain in the middle of the field. So that should be a pretty fun battle to watch. the center spot. Bessis gobbles it up. Calderon forward. Looking for the shot from distance and Acevedo falls to her knees to block. Playing Capdevilla was the most active in the middle of the field to get to that ball. As a restart, he seemed to fall asleep right there for a split second. Capdevilla got on it and but intentions of putting it on goal, it's exactly what she did. Didn't get enough power on it. You see this one broken up by a foul, but Barcelona aggressive early in this second half. McMahon across midfield. Henry challenging, Calderon getting just enough of a touch. Blocked away by Miner. In towards the 18, does it trickle through? No, battle at the top of the box, still loose. And out to grab hold, the backup, Fuster. ICC West and PDA to come. This one still to be decided, nearly 30 minutes in. Pujols, quick touch, Pujol, down in pain is Flores, slow to get back to her feet. Yeah, she stuck a foot in there and maybe got caught with a cleat. And a bit of a limp here, looks like she's going to try and walk it off. Reaching back. And she gets down through this tackle here, yeah, Ooh. she just twist her ankle there. And again, young and flexible, but still, it's not supposed to do that. Looks like she'll run it off. Yeah, she looks to be okay at the moment. Bessis. No retreat. Mikel Captavila in for Poe. And Poe's come in in the middle of the field and really, really active. The number 10. Slip through, anticipating. Nice steal away by Moschetti, sending Emma James off to the races, into the 18, shot to the back post that whistles wide. Boy, that initial ball played around the corner. Emma James looked at it as if she wasn't going to go after it. Then she put the afterburners on, and she was past everybody. She's got eyes for that far post, but she can't steer it on frame. But here's where she kind of slowed down, and then she turned it on and got in behind this back four. Far off the frame. Booster in good position. Both teams with opportunities here in the early part of the second half. Pulling it back, Doherty. They'll retreat all the way to the back line. Minor across. 
chipping it near side, Moschetti. That's well done by McMahon, the build out of the back. Moschetti. Roman. Help down the line, but she can't get it there. Throwing her body in front was McMahon. And she has been everywhere, McMahon. Thought about making a run forward, but now she'll retreat. Flores sending it wide. Out comes Connor. Down goes Fuster to make the block. When Barcelona stopped there, maybe thought Cindy Connor was offside. A few players put their hands up. Again, Connor tracking it down. Monica Fernandez with her step for step. The intensity level is there. It's that final touch. Their play, good play, good save here by Fuster. Roman McMahon again. My gosh, how good has she been tonight? Pubil tracking back the ball in for Dimri, who finds an extra gear. Back to her right foot, sneaks the top of the 18, but Flores maybe still bothered by that twisted ankle, couldn't bring it under control. Pubil off target. They'll retreat. Did it come off a hand? No, says the ref right there. Messi leaves it. Out comes Calderon, and she forgot something. Fernandez, and they'll retreat and swing it around. Much better from Barcelona. Looking long. Splitting the defense. Acevedo off her line to get it. That's the way that McMahon and Emily Miner have played in the center of that defense. That's not the ball. It's going to beat them over the top. Foot race for Connor. Laid back. It's just a little low and slow. And flying out is Fuster. And she slams into Connor as she clears. Connor did not back down an inch. And this was some collision here. I think both players are feeling it here. You could hear the goalkeeper coughing as she had the wind knocked out, and Cindy Connor Oof. still down. The crunching tackle. And now back to her feet. ECNL final LAFC knocking off PDA Blue in the final group stage game to get the top seed. And their reward taking on this Barcelona squad, one of the best in Europe, Bessis, pulling away. Calderon trying to push into the midfield, but it got away. Down goes Connor again in a tangle. Doherty threading it. Connor the touch. Dimri ever lurking out wide far side, but it's too far for Fernandez out for the throw in and it will be a chance for the slammers to make a switch. Liddy Bidolf about ready to check back in. There will be Sole Dimri taking a seat, getting a bit of a breather. It looks like they will let the substitution stand for Barca. Lorena Kubo will check in. Once again, it's that long ball attempted over the top that's not really working for Barcelona. They've been okay once again in that middle third of the field, but it's not leading to anything in that final third. Ramirez knocked down. Ball pops back up right to her. Giving chase is Flores, but she can't catch up. 
goal kick for Barca. Now with the substitution, Flores is back out on this left-hand side of the field where she started the game. By the way, Kubo coming in for Maria Calderon, who put in quite a shift so far tonight. But now without her out, will that open a door for LAFC? Flores, again, a little off on the touch. Throw in for Roman near side. 11 minutes played in the second half, still no goal. Barcelona lost their first game against PSG, but bounced back with two straight two to one wins. Actually finish on top of the group. Vila dispossessed, reaches in to try and get it, catches a little bit of Liddy Billup, and down she goes. Trying to find Captavila in the middle, and Magali has barely had a touch. Yeah, and it's not, again, it's that same ball, that same attempt over the top. Can you run the player in between two center backs, maybe slip one through, be more successful? And that ball over the top has not worked for Barcelona. Galvez back to her keeper who sends it right back up the middle to Kubo. And 17's coming to game, as you mentioned, Captavia. She's been pretty active in the middle of the field. Ex Espanol player now playing for the rivals, gets stomped on far side. Nothing intentional play on. They'll swing it into the middle. Barcelona also with a tactical switch. They've moved Kubo up into the midfield, and Bessis has dropped to the back line. Finding Marichelle Fuster. That's a good ball played out here. Uh, just, just skips away. Quickly back in. Slammers not letting the time tick. Both teams like the ball in motion. Six teams, four continents, nine countries. And who knows what next year will bring. But pretty certain the ICC Futures will have a third iteration. This one has grown so much even just compared to last year. Yeah, it's been so much fun to watch both the boys and the girls. And we keep talking about it all day. You and I keep discussing it off air. How many talented players we've seen over the last couple of days. Tangle on the far side. Capravila clattering through. She'll be whistled. Trying to cut to the inside of Connor. Just that little extra lean. Cindy Connor has not made it easy for Barcelona tonight. She's been really good. Captavila getting a talking to from the referee. Well, it's the product of going down to some slide tackles, even though the timing was right. And the referees these days, well, they'll try and monitor that as best they can. Booster saved a penalty against Pete FC in the last one. Let's see what Flores can do from distance. She'll fake it. Now driving it in low to the near post, but no rebound off of Pooster. Well, they had something working there. It looked like for a run to that near post, and whoever was supposed to make it didn't make it. Shane Gordon looks a little frustrated at that. Yeah. Well, they were working on something. You saw the initial run over the ball. Roman. Little stutter step in the midfield. Gets to the inside. Well anticipated by Miner. Bounces up. Vidal giving chase. Gets the touch, but too much on it. Will carry it all the way back to Fuster, who will grab hold. You know, Phil, back to that restart. How many times do we see in a normal game with only three substitutions where a sub is made and a few minutes later there's a restart and there's a missed assignment because you've just come in the game. You can just think about it now when you've got 
you know, 12 or 14 total substitutions throughout the game, and someone's going to miss an assignment here or there. Saw a little bit of that in the earlier game with Benfica against Barcelona, where players not sure what to do on a corner kick, but Benfica survived to advance. Almost a shame that one of these two teams will be done for the tournament. A little push wide, but it's deflected, giving Chase chance down the near side. Martret gets the ball through the middle, whacked away, blocked into the path of Puvil, trying to get the shot. And finally, the left foot of Malia McMahon gets it out of danger. Bessie stepping forward, a little challenging. Bessie's again. Fights her way through the challenge. Wow, really well done there by Bessies. The captain, as you mentioned, has moved back to that right center back position. There was some battle there. Really Not Biddulph. yet. Biddulph wins the ball on the turnover, but Connor can't hold on. Fernandez on the far side back into the middle. And the reason she can move back, Bessis, is the insertion of Nina Poe into the midfield. Although she'd been quiet over the last few, not here. Pushes forward for Captavila. The clearance rattles off the striker and back to Acevedo in the slammer's goal. I get the sense that Barcelona is finding their way finally in the attacking part of the field, especially with some of the substitutions that have been made. And this one almost comes off here. Eventually ends up the hands of Acevedo. Eight minutes left to go. Again, no added time, no extra time. Straight to penalties if this one ends level. Barcelona on the front foot at the moment. Threaded in for Captavilla, just missing the train at the station. Oh, not, an idea, not a bad idea here. By Acevedo in the midfield. Bessies takes a little bit off of it. To the center of the park for Kubo. Double teams and retreats to the captain. Looking, driving it low. From distance, up and slapped away. Martret almost buried it in the corner. Well, good effort here by Martret. As you mentioned, Acevedo up to the task here. You can see she has to study a good entry pass played in, good turn. Acevedo has to study it the entire time. That one had eyes for the upper corner. Barcelona quickly tangle in the area. Bellamnahia says no penalty as Ana Roman goes flying and the Barcelona bench flies out to protest. That was close. There's a Here's the initial shot that goes over the bar. Acevedo pushes it over the bar. It's a nice job there. And there was the shot for the penalty kick. Change. Molly McMillan checking back in. Another one of the younger players on this LAFC Slammer squad. Might be small in size, but did very well off the bench against PDA in the last game. Back into the middle for Bessis. They've also gotten Soleil Dimri back on the field at the Slammers, but they have not been able to get the ball to her offensively. Much more composed from Barcelona in the second stanza. 45th minute ticking to a close, five to go. Puster on a dime. Trying to turn Fernandez. And turning there, Fernandez, very well done. Magret in the circle, and up steps McMahon, but she leaves it for Poe, and now McMahon giving chase, and she gets the help from Jessica Fernandez. James tracking back now, giving chase. McMillan lifted up by McMahon. Headed away by Poe. Here's that 
earlier shot for a penalty kick here as the ball gets played in. Oh boy. That wasn't a, a great angle for LAFC that one. Uh, no penalty awarded. Ball inside just missing Cap de Vila. Much better from Barcelona. And Slammers forced to basically just try and slam it upfield from distance. Cap de Vila! Oh, wow, what a, a save by here. Brooklyn Acevedo. Save of the tournament right here, Mr. Phil Shane. And she roars to the heavens as she just saved the Slammers in the semis. Boy, we had an angle here where she had looked beaten on this one. As Captavia looks up, you can see Acevedo six yards off her line, has to retreat. Full concentration, full stretch, and she makes the play. Both of the keepers starting the second half, and both have been called to the rescue. But Acevedo twice here in the last few moments. Barcelona knocking on the door. Boy, the degree of difficulty on that one was much higher than the first one. The first one took concentration. She was there. Oh, deflected. Corner kick up coming. And that second save over the bar took not only concentration, but a lot of athletic ability to go back and then have the power to get up and push it over the bar. Well, we were looking at Magali Captavila to perhaps provide the attack, but it's been Raquel Captavila instead in these last few. Trying to keep it in play, Dimri, but it carries. And it really has been all Barcelona. Look at the LAFC slammer side. Everyone was is within 25, 30 yards of their goal line at the moment. All 11 players pinned back. Three Barcelona defenders with nobody to mark. Turning to the inside is Marquette. Dispossessed. Moving forward, McMahon, a flood of white jerseys. Biddle pushing it through. Can she get through? Out off her line is Fuster. Long the other way, and back comes Miner. A little touch from McMillan. Boy, McMahon had the energy to make one last run forward, and Bidoff decided to push it past the defender. Or McMahon may have been an option to her left. Booster anticipates well, though. You're at that moment, Phil, in the game where managers have to start thinking about who can they get in for the penalty kick shootout if it goes that far. Magali Captavila low and Acevedo gets lower. Another stop for the Slammers keeper. Earlier on, here we get the goal cam shot. Acevedo going back on that Raquel Captavila shot. That almost beat her over the top, but she was sharp on that play. She's been this entire second, second half coming on as a substitute here for the Slammers. All the way back in their own end, the Stephanie. 80 seconds remain, and this might be with a penalty in mind, but the Slammers trying to sneak one more sub in before the final whistle. Bessie's on the turn. Oh. My Galvez. Lifted into the area, Captavilla giving chase. Acevedo almost came out too far, but reaches up to slap it wide. This one still for the winning as we're into the final minute. Well, Barcelona's giving it a go here in this second half. They've been the, the better side going forward. There wasn't much of it in the first half, but Acevedo sure has been busy. Oh, bending ball, flicked in the air towards the back post. That last play, Acevedo saw Captavilla charging in, and she almost pushed out too far. Now maybe the last gasp for Doherty in LAFC. 25 seconds remain, looking long for Dimri. Four to beat, she can't. Well defended. Barcelona pressured in the first half, but they have tightened the screws here in the second. Here's Roman. 10 seconds. Ball back into the middle. Left. Shot! Corner! Goal! Nina Paul in the final second sends Barcelona to the final. Well, Phil, it had been coming this entire second half, it must be said. Barcelona had improved defense defensively to allow them to get forward. 
They continued to press, turn balls over. They move Betsy's into that back four to be able to build out of the back. This one gets down the right side, gets pushed back, and Nina Poe had one thing in mind, Phil, and it was that far post. And as good as Acevedo has been this entire second half, you can see there absolutely nothing she could do as this one's buried to that far post. After the ball went in, she was down on the ground, head in hands. She has made three fantastic saves to keep it scoreless, but she could not deny Nina Poe, and Barcelona advances to the inaugural ICC Futures Final. Oh, what a way to end it. You have to feel for the LAFC Slammers. What a performance, not just tonight, but what a performance in this tournament. But for Barcelona, that little extra touch of class. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that touch of class through the midfield the entire game. Column composed on the ball. Even though everything didn't work out, they never looked like they were stressed. And then in the end, with the icing on the cake, that's about as good a shot as we're going to see this entire tournament. I don't care, girls, boys, whatever you're watching, whatever field you're on here at IMG, it doesn't get any better than that. That might be the goal of the tournament. And you can see the tears, the frustration, the realization that it's over. They were thinking penalty. They were thinking we still have this chance to win it. But that one last burst forward when it seemed like the game was done and the Barcelona players rushing to the far side. The Barcelona boys fell short in the quarters with the Barcelona girls showing the way. What a game. Well, look at those scenes, Phil. How much fun is that? You want to know if it means something at 14 years old? It absolutely does. And credit to these Barcelona fans as well. They've been outstanding. And here on the other side, a lesson learned. FC Barcelona, a 50th minute goal to knock out the slammers and move on to the final. Take a look at the highlights. Well, early on, it had been Dimri down this right-hand side of the field, causing problems for Barcelona. She cuts one back, pulls one across the box. Barcelona's able to deal with it, but this was a, the story of something to come in this first half. Down this right-hand side, earning corner kicks, earning restarts. McMahon, who had been outstanding the entire night, probably the best player on the field, gets on the end of that one, can't steer it on frame. Another corner that Barcelona doesn't deal with here, can't clear it. Emery with another opportunity. That was the story of the first half, and that story changed in the second half as Barcelona eventually was able to get themselves into halftime, nil-nil. The ball played over the top was the last action of that first half. But Barcelona dealt with everything that LAFC threw at them when they didn't have anything going forward. They dealt with these crosses, these balls played in the box. Almost an Olympico there, but then as time progressed, Barca started to take control. They absolutely did. Captavia with an opportunity. Aceveda showed the first save there. Here she is again. Captavia, that same play, tries to get it over the top. There was an opportunity here for Emma James down that left hand side. She doesn't steer it on frame. But that's what it was. It was Barcelona possessing eventually enough possession to pull one back here for Nina Paul who absolutely hammers it to that far post. With the clock ticking down, almost no time left. That was all Barcelona needed to find themselves in the finals. And they are still celebrating on the far side. They'll be celebrating well into tomorrow because they know there is one. Who will they face? Well, we'll find out in just a little bit because ICC West All-Stars taking on PDA Blue LAFC Slammers thought it might be their tournament, but Nina had something else in mind. 
A 50th minute, last second goal. Barcelona advances. The slammers are done.